Hey guys, welcome to a new segment we're gonna call Mustang Moments. We're gonna have some former, past, current um, students. And today I'm lucky enough to be here with Michaela McSpadden. She's gonna be graduating this week. So we didn't wanna miss this opportunity. We're gonna make her the first ever guest on our new segment here. Um, Michaela is a recent state champion, so we're gonna get to that. But why don't you first tell everyone how long you've attended Uluga Talala Public Schools? Yeah. I've attended Ulaga since pre-K, so I think 14 years. 14-year club. That's a thing. We have a large group of those. I think that's awesome. Um, so let's get right to tennis. So you went uh, undefeated this year. Mm -hmm. So just talk to us a little bit about that with the season, how it went, how it was progressing. Was there pressure being undefeated, being the number one ranked person? Or Yeah, it was really fun. Um, I tried not to think about that too much. Um, my freshman year, I really had a lot of moments where I would, you know, think about records and winning and everything. So this year I kind of went into it more focusing on just the job that needed to be done. So yeah, I, it was really fun, but I wasn't really thinking about the record or anything. Well, that's, that's good. That's good. And you played amazing. So obviously it worked. <laughs> so do you have any superstitions or things that you have to like have with you or you have to do before you start a tennis match? Yes. So I, before I serve, I'll bounce the ball six times. Um, and that's, I always do that. And before I, um, return a serve, I will take my racket and I'll hit the back heel of my foot. Um, I'll do that basically every point if I like, as long as I remember it. And other than that, there is, I do have a pair of lucky socks that I wear. <laughs> you wash the lucky socks. Yes, okay. I do. <laughs> I do do that. I think some of our football players have some lucky socks that they mm -hmm. don't wash maybe. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so yeah, so I was fortunate enough to, to catch your final match at state, but talk to me in state tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, for those of the, that don't know, it's, it's multiple days. Uh, mm -hmm. How many matches, all that. Just walk us through the state tournament. Yes, yeah, so I played a total of four matches um, and each match best two out of three sets and everything and it was really really fun there I was nervous um, going into it because I wanted to do well it was my last shot at it so I really wanted to you know make everyone proud and compete as well as I could but it was really fun I love state tournament it's great so it's a great complex in Oklahoma City. Um, the first day you played two matches, correct? Yes. And she won 6-0, 6-0, which if you're not familiar, that means um, you know that they play a game. Uh, they play those are six games, and she didn't. No, no one scored on you <laughs> the, the first day. And that's the state tournament's the best of the best. And then how many you played two more matches the final day, correct? Yes, sir. Um, so actually, when I was headed your way, I wasn't even for sure. Uh, you had won your your third match, <laughs> even though you you had won the first set 6-0. <laughs> so she won her first three. Uh, matches 6060, no one scored on her. And then we get to the state tournament. Mm -hmm. I show up and you lose your first game. I and I was like, I'm, it's all my fault. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but then you won six in a row and won six one. And uh, I think everyone knew like you were definitely, um, obviously very good and it was going to be a rough day for her. But talk to me about the wind. I played tennis a little bit. Mm -hmm. The wind there was gusting 40, 50 miles an hour that yes. Saturday. So how, how do you deal with that? I think. If my memory serves me right, the three um, games that you dropped were all into the wind. Mm -hmm. And so yes. uh, it was definitely a factor. Yes. Yeah. I definitely prefer to play like with the wind. Um, so like that's just a preference. But I the wind was a factor and I was trying to, you know, not think about it. Tennis is very easy to get kind of wrapped up in the conditions and anything that's making you lose points instead of focusing on what you're doing wrong. It's very easy to make excuses and saying, oh, it's the conditions. It's other outside factors that I can't control. So, you know, I tried not to think about it. There was a few points where it definitely, you know, changed things up. And I, a few unexpected, like, you know, balls that I wasn't expecting to get came and, you know, vice versa. But I always remember that, like, all the conditions that I'm playing in, my opponent's playing in as well. So it's, you know, kind of evens out the playing field. And, you know, the best player that day is going to win the match. So whoever is going to For sure. Turn. And if, if you're not familiar, they switch um, every two games. And so you're going into the winner downwind. Um, what I'll take away from that day, besides how great you are at tennis, <laughs> was um, just how calm you stayed level. You didn't get too excited. You didn't get too upset. And it's easy to do when you're playing the state tournament, you're playing mm -hmm. conditions and things may not go your way. Um, I was, you, you were really mature on the tennis court. I think it's a testament to you and probably how much tennis you played, but it was great to watch. Thank and I'm you. glad I got to be there. Um, so I was told by a reliable source that we started our tennis program in 1985. So roughly, what's that, 36 
seasons, um, and you're our first ever state champion. Can you just talk to me what that means to you? Because yeah. uh, it's obviously a huge deal. Yeah, it's it's very cool. It's very fun. I've had um, I started playing tennis in like seventh grade, I think. So ever and ever since I've started playing, I just. I went and watched the state tournament and I just thought, I was like, I want to do that. I want to go on that podium. And I kind of just never looked back. I just, I don't know. I just fell in love with it. I really liked, I really liked practicing. I like playing it. I never really not like my time on the court. It's never like a chore to me. It's just fun. And so, but yeah, it's really cool winning state. It's very fun. Um, it's nerve wracking, like in the moment, because you're like, okay, you got two days to showcase what you've been working on for four years. And so it's very, um, it's definitely, it can get the best of you if you let it. Sure. So it's definitely a, um, but it's a cool environment. It's really, really cool. And I'm really thankful I'm able to say that I won a title. So were you during the moment that last set, you end up winning the last set six to two. Did you yes. get to enjoy it? Did you get it? Did you start thinking about state? Yeah. So I actually, it was, <laughs> this is funny. I, <laughs> since I've been a kid, I've always imagined I'm like, okay, when I win the state title, what's going to be my reaction? Like, what am I going to do once I win that point? Am I going to like cry? Am I going to like sit down? Am I just going to walk up there? And in the moment, whenever I won it, like I look back on the videos and I'm like, oh, that was not a cool reaction. <laughs> that wasn't, that wasn't what I was planning for, but it was fun. It was, I definitely in that last game, I had a few points where I'm like, okay, Michaela, this is the moment that your reaction's coming on. <laughs> and I, yeah, but I was able to pull it together and focus on the last game, which is important. Yeah, for sure. And I live streamed the last couple of points mm -hmm. and uh, I made a joke at the end because you went, you did go sit down and, yes. and Coach Doyle came and congratulated you and everybody's mm -hmm. staying off the, the court. Mm -hmm. And then after, you know, you had a little moment to yourself, I think you had some water and you come back on the court and you're cleaning up the court. You're picking yes. up the balls and the, like the trash on the court. And, mm -hmm. uh, it just made me, made me smile. <laughs> um, one thing I want to tell you, so we're, we had went, so that was a Saturday. We went to the state track meet. Mm -hmm. We're racing to, to see you at state tennis. And I had my kids with me, um, Callie, Sam, and Ben, they're 11, 13, and 14. And I thought this was really cool. So we're driving there, and Ben, my youngest, says, you know what? Michaela really deserves to win. And I said, well, well why would you say that? And he goes, because she's always practicing. She works really hard. And so I want to thank you for that because that my kids got to see that hard work pays off. If you've ever been by our tennis courts or by our school and you see someone practicing in really hot weather, really cold weather, and you're like, who is that? It's Michaela. <laughs> And so I thought that was cool for a group of junior high kids to go kind of put it together and go, man, hard work pays off. And she she deserves, you know, she's Thank earned you. it, so to speak. So I thought that was really cool. Um, all right. So Michaela's not only a great tennis player, she's a great student. She's 4.0, uh, taking a lot of concurrent college classes. So talk to me about your schedule, because I know you practice like three hours a day with tennis. So yes. uh, how, how do you do that? Because that's really incredible. It's um, it's very time management is very important in my life. I thrive in productivity. I, if I don't start my day off doing something, the whole day kind of just goes and I can't I'm not going to accomplish what I need to. So a lot of my days um, I took. I think my like in the fall semester, I was taking 16 hours and this semester I took 12 hours. So I was definitely busy with academics. Yes. And in my mind, academics always comes first um, before tennis. So a lot of my days, especially um, as the weather is better, I would like get up usually around five, be on the court by six and train for six to eight. That's my first session of the day. Come home and I would you know, have school. I was online this semester because of the pandemic and everything. And then, um, so I would do my school, try to get as much schoolwork as I can. Then I would go back, um, up to, I'm also a tennis coach that I <laughs> work at. So I had to go and work and, for a few hours and then I would train again. And then I would come home and finish any schoolwork that I had to do and do my chores because my mom wouldn't let me slip on that sure. either. And then I just do it again. So yeah, time management is just very key. Well, my first memory of Michaela was a freshman was academics and how driven you were and how good you were. And I had knew nothing about how good you were at tennis, obviously, till the spring. Um, but that's my first memory. Um, so we did have signing day recently, maybe not a month or so ago. Uh, for those that couldn't make it, tell us a little bit about your plans next year and where you're going. Yes, I'm going to Emporia State University. That's up in Kansas. It's a little Division II school up. Um, we're about an hour north of Topeka. 
And it's going to be really fun. I'm very excited for that. That'll be very fun. Yeah, we're I'll excited. Play tennis. Yeah, we're excited to follow your your next steps there for sure. And do you have? Um, it's kind of early. I didn't have a major in mind. Do you have a major in mind when you go up there? I or? do. Yeah, I am going to be majoring in psychology. I'm a pre med student, okay. but um, for you can major in anything, you sure. know, with that. And I've been very interested in psychology. Oh goodness, forever. And I'm also minoring in um, chemistry whenever I go up there. Awesome. So it'll be really fun. It'll yeah, it'll be tough. It'll, yeah, it'll be tough. Yeah, it's some of those chemistry classes. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so you you talked a little bit about driven and pro- productivity. So one of our core values is to be your best. Can you talk to us a little bit about that and what that means to you and yeah. how you applied that maybe? Yes, of course. There, um, that's kind of like one of the things that I live by is just definitely you know, give it my best effort in everything that I have. And if I'm not going to give my best at it, I'm not going to do it at all. You know, I've, it's either, it's kind of an all or nothing attitude and everything that I'm involved in, I feel like not only do I owe it to myself, but I owe it to those around me to give it everything I've got, you know, and everything. So I try to, for me, that basically means, you know, working hard, doing what I can do to like, what's in my control that I can succeed. There's a lot of things out of my control that I can't really affect, like that can affect how my results go and everything, but that's not in my control. So being your best to me, just for me, is just work ethic and just trying your best at everything you do and, you know, giving it your best shot and seeing what happens with that. I think you can tell why Michaela is so successful. She's very mature, <laughs> even her thought process about being her best and controlling what she can control. I know there's some adults that could take that, that need that <laughs> advice. So last thing, we, yes. we drew a random question. So I had some students write down some random questions to make the last little bit of this fun. We drew that beforehand. And the question was, what is one food that you absolutely can't stand or hate? Like what's a no-go? Stand. Hmm. I would say cauliflower. Cauliflower. Okay. Oh That's God. probably a popular one. Yeah. Kind of dry and mm-hmm. chunky. Yeah. All right. Well, me. we're glad you could join us for our first ever Mustang moment. Couldn't think of anybody else I'd rather do that with than Michaela being a state champion. Um, didn't want to miss out on an opportunity. We definitely will look forward to watching you in Emporia State. Thank you. Um, you know, like we say, once a Mustang, always a Mustang. So we appreciate you and your efforts, and we look forward to following you. Amazing. Thank you. You bet.